Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at this new set of markers that I just received from Artbeak. These are a fairly new release. I think they must have just came out um, December, maybe around Christmas time. I have had this set sent to me. They sent them to me a little while ago, and I just haven't gotten a chance to show them to you guys. So we're going to take a look at them today and see what we think about them. I did do a review on their 80-piece chisel and fine point set not too long ago. I'll put the card in for that one if you haven't, if you missed that one. But they asked me if I'd like to do another review on this set. I think they might have listened to some of my suggestions on in that last video. They have this new set out. It's 48 pieces plus, um, I did say that I thought they should have a blender marker added to their sets because most a lot of sets do have a blender marker so I thought that was a little bit lacking in the last set so they this set does have a blender marker there's only numbers on them what they had told me was they didn't have enough on these new barrels they didn't have enough room on the barrels to fit the color names and the numbers so they just have the numbers but if you go to, over to the listing page there's a chart with color names and color codes on them so I copied the names and numbers onto this chart. So if you if you're like me and you like to have color names um, to accompany the numbers, you'll see it over there in the listing. This is under the same. These are under the same listing as the 80 piece set we talked about in the last review. So let's take a look at the old set and the new set um, really quickly because I want to do some speed coloring with these, and um, I will leave a time stamp. In the video so in case you just want to watch the speed coloring part you can skip to that part but i wanted to check out and see what was different um i do think it's the same color system as the older set that a lot of the marker companies follow like you'll see here let me see if i can find one that's the same 25 and 25 all this funny salmon pink that's yellow but you see here it's the same color i think the caps on the on the newer ones are are a little bit closer to the actual color but it's still the same color system and they've updated the barrels I, I like these better I have seen other markers use this kind of casing before maybe I think I even have some Arctix ones that look like this on the outside um, I was trying to find them to, for, to do a comparison for this video, but you know me, I'm a big mess. I couldn't find them in time to do the video, but I think I've seen, um, Artex. I might use this kind of same barrel and maybe Artify, I think uses this kind of barrel too, but this one is a lot nicer than I, well, actually it just looks a little bit more, um, I want to say more, more expensive than this, this look. I think, and then it's just an all black print instead of like the different colors. I think it makes it look a little bit more professional, in my opinion. So this is what's diff really different. These are brush tips um, on this old set that they had sent me is fine tips. And they're both chisel on the other end. Chisel, oops, chisels. So I think I had also mentioned that I, I do prefer a brush tip marker. I don't mind a fine tip marker, um, but if I had to choose, um, fine tips are good for, you know, getting into little tighter spaces. But I generally prefer to use a brush tip marker when I color with markers. So like I said, I do have a color chart for them. I swatched them out. They also have, in this new set, they give us a color swatch chart. You can use this. Um, it would be fine if you just wanted to do like a quick swatching, I think, and see what the colors look like. You can only fit the numbers. You couldn't really fit all these long names on there. Um, so that's a nice additional um, touch that they added to the set. So I'm gonna pick out a page from this Color and Chicks book, I think, to do our color, our speed color. Now I picked this one out because I like to use markers in these kind of books. Daria Chakersoy and Christine Karen, now Jennifer Zimmerman's latest book is on this paper. It's still the Amazon type of paper, but I think it's, in my opinion, it's a little bit nicer. It's a little bit different than the kind that usually comes um, in the self-published books. 
um, it'll have some color pages in the front and some people like it some people don't like it I like it for markers um, it's very smooth nice smooth paper and since it's grayscale it's a great choice to use the markers use alcohol markers because pretty much all the work is done for you all you really have to do is color I thought it would be a good one to try out the art beak markers on since they have some nice greens i thought it would be nice for the background for these leaves um not too many in the way of skin tones but i thought maybe you could use this pale cream for her skin um this bodysuit i might want to do some kind of a bright one of the bright colors maybe purple maybe even this fluorescent green would be really cool so we'll see what happens um <laughs> i might change my mind We'll see how it works out. If we cut to a different picture, you'll know I must have messed up on this page and we, I had to start another one. But after we're done, we'll come back and do a little follow-up and final thoughts on these markers. So let's get started.
control even if you know that you don't own me. I'll let you play the role. I'll be your animal. Ma, ma, me likes to sing along with me, but she won't sing a song if she reads all the lyrics. She'll pity the man I know. So you're a tough guy, like you. Bad tight, make your mama sad tight, make your girlfriend mad tight, my seduce your dad type. I'm the bad guy. Duh. <laughs> See what she sees, but maybe it's cause I'm wearing your cologne. I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad
Okay, so we're back. What do you guys think? I thought they were really nice and vibrant, very nice saturated colors in this set. Had no problems with streakiness, as you could probably tell while I was coloring. Um, I use very light pressure when I use markers. I feel like that helps a lot with preventing streakiness. So I did end up changing my mind on this bodysuit. I used the yellow marker and I used Marigold for the ribbon. Um, her hair was potato brown and some greens for the background, like I said earlier. I ended up adding a blue background. I did add some colored pencil to her face so she could have some blush. Gave her a little makeup, a little foundation, and I gave her some nail polish. I ended up having this Marigold um, Brute Funner on my desk from when I was doing some comparisons. So I thought it matched really well because this color is also called Marigold. So I thought it was a good match for her nail polish. And I also just did these little, um, what do you call it, the stamen part of the flowers. I did that in pencil too. And her eyebrows. I had a little accident with her eyebrows, but I tried to save them a little bit by filling them in with pencil. I think that's all we have to say about these markers today. These are on sale currently for $35.99 as I'm filming this and then with a 10% off coupon. So that brings them to be about just under $33. It'll be like 32 and some change. Hopefully when you're watching this, that will be still be the case. And if you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. So if you guys are interested in these markers, the link will be down below in the description box and you can check them out for yourself. I hope you guys all have a really great day. Happy coloring and I'll see you next time.